Hello everybody, this is Errol here from ESP, exploring strategic possibilities. And what a fantastic day we have again today. And today we're going to be talking about, okay mongooses, we know, we know, we know. And yes, they are sitting up looking forward to this one today. We are going to be talking about, you don't need permission. Just do it. You know, let me just say this again. You don't need permission. Just do it. Now, why do I say that? Well, it's quite simply because majority of the time we have been so conditioned to be asking permission to do the, sometimes the most simplest things and tasks in our lives that we have lost, uh, lost the ability to think. Right? Let me say that again. Right? Sometimes we have been conditioned, not sometimes, we have been conditioned so much that we lost the ability to think for ourselves. So we need, many times, the approval of somebody else to tell us what to do or somebody to tell us, it's okay, we're doing the right thing, you've got my permission to do this or that. But yet, deep down, we already know what we should be doing. But we don't want it, and because we have handed so much authority over to other people from outside of ourselves, we lost the ability to sometimes to think things through and to do something that we know that is right. Even now, as I look around, I see the, the bees, the bumblebees, they are collecting the nectar, they're going to flower to flower, and they don't need permission. They just do it. They realize that once they've collected the nectar, it goes back to the hive, it's changed, converted into honey. It's gonna benefit them, but also the rest of the colony and the rest of the ecosystem too ecosystem which they have been around. You don't need permission. If you know what you are and who you are and what you should be doing, you should be following that. And even though you may not have all the answers at the present moment, the answers that you do have, you should be doing it. Right? And you should be doing it, not with fear. There should be some kind of joy there you know, excitement, that you are now coming into your own. You're seeing the opportunities that's there before you, right? Don't surrender everything who you, of who you are. Once you start to do what you need to be doing, you will start to understand that there's a, a synergy between being able to work together with people, a partnership, Right, you are, you're able to collaborate and get things done. There's an understanding of how things can be done. It doesn't matter what you are doing, there's an understanding and how you can do things. And there's a flow, there's a natural flow in how you process things as you go through things. Right, and so it's a, an, an, an ease in how you get up, even when you get up in the morning, it is not a struggle. Right? It is not a struggle because you're moving into that understanding, right, of how you can get things done. There's a flow, right? There's a joy, there's a wisdom that you have, that you have inside of you. That once you start to understand it and you, once you start to uh, respect it and you start to respect who you are, respect your own thoughts and judgments, you don't need permission you will just do it. And even if you wrong, you make those mistakes along the way, which you will do, everybody does, right? You have the strength of character to say, you know what, I made a mistake. You know, you can own your mistakes because you know those mistakes are just stepping stones in a process for you to get what you really want, the outcome that you desire. There's no desire, there's no um, dismissal, oh, that's not my problem, that's, that's not my problem. You know what you've done wrong. And you just say, okay, I made a mistake. I understand where it's gone wrong. You know, and even if somebody comes to you and says, you know what, what you did was wrong and how you did it, and you have to step back and say, you know what, they have a point, you can stand up and say, you know, I made a mistake, I apologize for that. 
But this is you taking back ownership of who you are. It's taking ownership of what you are wanting to be. And believing in yourself that if you make a decision, it is your decision, right? You don't need to palm it off onto somebody else. And if it goes wrong, you will own it. Because you know by owning it, you learn something so important that will open a new pathway for you to grow and develop and for you to reach your goal, your outcome that you want. Oh, the mongooses are saying, yes, 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 they're excited about this. You don't need permission. Understand that you don't need permission. Opportunities are always there for you. And it's for you to look at those opportunities and decide whether to go for it or not. Does it fit in to who you are? And if not, you will filter it all out. That's a great thing. Once you start making decisions, things that were distracting you at one point will start to fall away. You will start to refine your thoughts, your thinking process, how you do things throughout your day. Maybe it's just a streamline of doing things. Even though you may get some great ideas, you may note them down, but if it doesn't fit into where you are at this present moment, then you will just eliminate it. You will not need people be telling you what to do because you will have that understanding and that innate wisdom that is built into you. These are exciting times. And if you can start to grasp and start to look at what you are doing now and just look at all the different things that you do that you need permissions from other people to, to be doing things, right? you will make you stop and pause. And if you stop and say, right, let me decide to do this, then most likely you realize that these three or four different things that you need permission from other people are no longer relevant because you are naturally orientating yourself, moving yourself in a direction that is self-fulfilling, um, self-nourishing. You become the master of your destiny. So, I hope you found this video of help. If you have, please press like. I'd love to hear your comments. Please subscribe to this channel and check out anything else that we have on our website. So, have a great day. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.